Hey everyone, this week I've been driving this 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime. You can basically think of this as the ultimate RAV4. It's a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, and after a full charge, it's capable of traveling up to 42 miles on battery power alone. After that, it functions just like a regular hybrid. It's rated by the EPA at 38 mpg once the battery has been depleted. Compare that to the regular RAV4 hybrid, which is rated at 40 mpg by the EPA, but lacks the ability to travel on electric power alone. The cool thing about the Prime is that it makes a combined 302 horsepower allowing it to go from zero to 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds. Toyota likes to tout the fact that it's the second fastest Toyota behind the Supra. I like to think of it as being the fastest vehicle that Toyota builds itself. I've had this thing on the charger overnight, that's why it's still in my garage. So let's unplug it, pull it out, and take a closer look at it. To take the plug out, the car actually has to be unlocked, so we'll make sure it's unlocked. And when you press the unlock button, you can see that little light comes on there. So we'll take the plug out. There's a little cover for the outlet and it hooks on, see that little hole there? Fits right over that hook so that it can hang there while the car's charging. Put it back on and then close this. So on this side, you've got this charge port door that opens with a push release. Over here, you've still got a regular old fuel door that opens via a lever on the dashboard. All right, now we can take a closer look at this thing. It looks pretty similar to your everyday RAV4 hybrid. It's got a slightly different grille. It's a gloss finish with this chrome strip around the outside, and then it's got kind of a front lip on it. These 19 inch wheels are unique to the Prime. Here's your Prime badge around back, it's red. This is an XSE model, so this one is fully loaded. We'll take a look at the window sticker in a minute. Lots of black trim on the bumper around the wheel arches, around the rocker panels, around the front wheel arches, mirror caps, roof, up front. Still looks pretty similar to your everyday RAV4 hybrid. So like other Toyota hybrids, when you turn this thing on, the engine doesn't start. It just kind of comes to life off of the battery pack. You can see here, distance to empty, EV, 42 miles hybrid vehicle, 408 miles. We'll take a look at the window sticker here. So this is a 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime. Like I said, it's fully loaded and the sticker shows just under $49,000 as the MSRP. But keep in mind, this is a plug-in hybrid vehicle, meaning that it is eligible for a $7,500 federal tax credit. So Take 7,500 from 49, that comes in at about $41,500, which is a pretty reasonable price for a vehicle like this. The EPA rates this thing at 38 miles per gallon combined after the battery has been depleted. I've never been a fan of these EV MPG ratings. This one comes in at 94 MPG E. I tend to ignore that. It's hard to make apples to apples comparisons with other vehicles using that rating. I look at it this way. This vehicle will go 42 miles on electric power alone before switching over to hybrid mode, at which point it will return 38 mpg combined. For the sake of comparison, the RAV4 hybrid is rated at 40 mpg. If you've been in a current generation RAV4, then this is going to look pretty familiar. On the console here, you've got all your different hybrid and electric driving modes. Right here, you can cycle between EV mode which is what the vehicle is in right now. It says EV mode right there. And then you've got auto EV HV mode, meaning that the vehicle will automatically cycle between EV and HV modes as it senses the need. Over here, you can put the vehicle into what is purely hybrid mode. You can see the engine kicked on there. And then if you press and hold this button, It goes into charge mode, or at least it would go into charge mode if the battery wasn't already full. But in charge mode, the gas engine will charge the battery. Beneath that, you've still got your driving modes. So on this knob, you've got Eco, turns the knob green. Sport, 
turns the knob red. Push to go back to normal, turns the knob blue. And then, this is kind of cool, there's even a trail mode. This thing comes standard with all-wheel drive, and just like in the hybrid model, the rear wheels are powered by electric motors, so there's no drive shaft running the length of the vehicle. Other than that, this is a pretty typical RAV4. All right, so we're gonna start out our drive here in auto EV HV mode. What's cool about this vehicle is that it offers pretty decent performance. Uh, the XSE trim already comes with slightly stiffer suspension, so it, it handles a little bit better. And then in this case, you make 302 horsepower from that combined gas and electric motor, and it goes zero to 60 in 5.7 seconds. That's pretty cool. So since we're in hybrid mode, I will be able to demonstrate the best acceleration time. There's 50, wow, yeah, it's quick. So what I was alluding to there is to get that fastest zero to 60 time, that 5.7 second zero to 60 time, you have to have the vehicle in hybrid mode uh, so that the gas and electric motors work in conjunction. When you're in pure EV mode, zero to 60 comes in about nine seconds. So not as fast in EV mode, but the feeling's still pretty cool. It, it's an electric vehicle. Yeah, wow, that electric motor really supplements the gas engine. It feels quick. It's a really smooth ride too. Uh, I read that they put thicker glass on the RAV4 Prime to make it a little bit quieter. You can hear the electric motor. It's almost calming to drive this vehicle quickly. So I'm at a red light. The vehicle is in pure EV mode. So as soon as it turns green, we can do a test of acceleration under electric power. Okay. Little wheel spin. There's 50, there's 60. So it's really smooth, not quite as fast. The vehicle is clearly fastest in hybrid mode when the gas engine and the batteries can work together, but it's still extremely smooth in EV mode. And it looks like that acceleration test just cost me two miles of range. Apparently Toyota's only building 5,000 of these for the 2021 model year. I have to think this vehicle will be fairly successful though, and that therefore in 2022, they'll be building more of them. So in closing, given that federal tax credit, the price of this vehicle becomes pretty reasonable. And for most people, you're able to drive it without ever using any gas. On top of all that, you've got all the great features of the RAV4. This thing comes standard with all-wheel drive. It's got room for four to ride comfortably, five in a pinch. Interior's great. It's extremely functional. The RAV4 is already probably the best compact SUV on sale. And when you add in the capability to go up to 42 miles between charges without using any gas, this thing becomes even more compelling. I could see myself owning one in the future. It's extremely functional and practical to live with, and it's nice to not use any gas. Thanks for watching.